what's going on people so i was saying in the last video that i recorded which will not be up before this one because that's how my schedule is laid out or whatever but i'm working through the backlog and since air max month is coming up i kind of needed to put a little bit of priority on some things so i've got a lot of recording that i'm going to be doing over the next two weekends you won't be seeing most of those videos for a while but you'll see at least four over the next month Anyway, so here today, got these right here. So on the side of the box, there's some stuff over there and all that good nonsense, right? Some people like that. I still don't see the whole point to it, but it only takes an extra like five seconds out of my day to put that in there. So I do it for you, however many of you there are that care about it. But anyways, that being that, these have been around a while. So we're just going to get through this, right? This right here is the... Nike Air Max 1 in the hemp colorway, right? Totally drew a blank when I started to say that. I was like, what, what is this thing called, right? Yeah, it's been a long, long while, and I kind of forgot that I even had these until I saw some dude at work walk by in them. But anyway, so as far as doing a whole on review, I don't know if that's completely necessary, but I'll hit the highlights, right? So let's go ahead and do that. First off, down there at the bottom, right? So what you're seeing down there is what you don't normally see down there on a pair of Air Max 1s anyway. I don't know what this material is, kind of like a gum bottom sort of thing. It's just weird because it's not the standard, but it seems fine visually. It does make it a little heavier though. Moving up here to the midsole and whatnot, this you got some sort of off-white thing going on here. Not like those ugly off-white type shoes, but you know what I'm saying, the colors like beige. And then you have this little green sort of thing going on in the middle there. So kind of a nice contrast, I think. Now, getting you guys those two shots that I often get in here so you can kind of catch these looking from the top down and whatnot. Start formulating your own opinion. Though, since these are several months old, you probably made an opinion back in like July or August or whenever these things actually came out. I get it. Though what I don't get is why are you watching this video if you've already seen them and know about them? What's that all about? Don't you have anything else to do? Anyways, moving along, right? So now you got that sort of thing out of the way. I'll tell you what I'm seeing up front real quick for those who might be new to these or whatever. So down here, toe box area, right? Brown, you got some sort of new buck type of thing. Could be some kind of suede. I'm leaning towards new buck because why not, right? Upper area, that's pretty nice. I do like that, right? It's got this sort of woven thing, kind of like, like a pair of Prestos that I have somewhere around here. So I like that, it's pretty cool. Moving along just a little bit more here. On this side, you got some sort of thing that kind of feels like a canvas sort of material. Not amazing, but it's a nice thing, you know? I mean, you're switching it up, you're getting different materials. I mean, these are a premium Air Max, right? So we may as well go all out. Over here, this, this tan sort of area feels kind of like, it feels closer to leather than like your standard like suede type thing or whatever. Not gonna say what it is, but I'm going to go with guessing that it's probably more on the suede side than the leather side. Just because it doesn't feel so flat. It's kind of got like a little hairy sort of thing to it. Moving along. This actual swoosh. Now this feels like some leather. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. You would think I'd know since it's in my hands. But I'm just not good at the material side of things, you know? And then on the back, you got that standard Nike stuff going on back there, right? Pretty decent. Moving back over here. I mean, that's really, for the most part, everything. You probably caught it all from there, right? So I don't think I'm going to go getting too much deeper into these because there's a couple other pictures coming up. One thing I will say, moving on to the inside, though, I do like the way they did this insole. It just looks like it's a nice quality material there going on. And same with, like, the sock liner piece. I just like what's happening on there, right? So it kind of makes, makes me wonder if, like, that's part of the reason they feel the way they feel thinking about all this stuff all inclusive but i'll get into that with the sizing and whatnot towards the end of the video so that is pretty much all i care to say about the overall visual piece of this or whatever actually no it's not these these laces i kind of glossed over that so like i said before this is a premium side of type of shoe right you would think at least i would think that they'd give you more than one choice of laces right now, I am kind of sitting here and complaining that they're only giving me the one. 
And yeah, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I do not change laces. I just stick with what's in there. But I mean, I would at least like to have the option if you're going to go and stick a higher price tag and this whole premium label on these. It just seems right, at least by my standards. So, Nike people, what's up with that, huh? Now, I think that's everything I needed to say, visually speaking. So we're going to move on, hit you with some personal thoughts, and then some sizing and some comfort. Personal thoughts first, because that's what I just said I'm going to do. These right here, personal feelings aside about the whole lace situation, I do like them a lot. I think I saw these originally through ACS sneakers, and then it's like, oh, like if I haven't missed this release or whatever, I'm going to put in at least a little bit of effort and try getting them, right? Because I don't pay a lot of attention to releases, because when you pay more attention, you spend more money, and I already spend enough. So that's just kind of how I keep myself in check. But they came along, I want to say, through the Nike webpage, possibly. This is so long ago that I don't fully remember, but I saw them somewhere for the price that they're supposed to be, retail price, no resale. And I was thinking, yep, this is my moment, so I'm going to buy these and we're going to see how this works out. And looking at them up close, they are very nice. The quality of the material is solid. There's a couple blemishes on the side, but that's more of a quality control thing. That's always a gamble with Nike. But as far as just this here shoe goes, the colors, it all just comes together very nicely in my opinion. It makes for just a, a nice total package, you know? I'm still a little thrown off by the bottom piece, you know, because it's different. It's not what I'm used to. Maybe I just don't like change. But I got no real complaints about it. Like, none at all. I'm going to kind of elaborate just a little bit more on that in this next piece when I talk about all the sizing and all the comfort and whatnot, right? So... You know what let's go ahead and do that i feel like i've said enough things about these probably showed you enough pictures and whatnot i mean i show you the same six every video right i feel like that's enough so now the sizing thing i kind of alluded to a minute ago i bought these in a nine and a half because my foot size is nine and a half and air maxes tend to work out at true to size for me that holds true for the most part on these. I will say these are kind of a snug fit, more so than I was expecting, right? I'm still good to go, but if you have other Air Max 1s and you don't have a lot of room in those, you're going to have even less in these. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. So do whatever you need to do with that information. I'm not going to say to go up half. I'm not going to say to go true to size. Leave it to you to figure that out. That's how I take it, right? But I'm just saying these feel a little more snug. And I think part of it is just like the materials that they use on the inside and then some of the stuff even on the outside maybe just makes for a smaller overall feeling. But it is what it is. Past the whole sizing thing, if you do find a size that works for you, I think you will enjoy wearing these because even though they do feel just a little bit heavier and I don't have another Air Max to really compare to right about now, but that's how it feels off the top of my head. They do feel pretty nice walking around in them. Even this bottom piece, I don't know, it's got, it seems like it's got a nice like cushion to it, you know, that gum bottom thing. So when you're walking, each step doesn't seem very stiff like I thought it might be. So that was a pleasant surprise. And they seem like they might be decent on the breathability. I'm not gonna call it right now, but if I do a follow up later and I happen to wear these on a warm day, then I'll give you some thoughts then. But for now, I'm just going to say that overall, I think this will be a nice, comfortable wear all day, most days, right? So that's it for me as far as this whole Air Max 1 situation goes. Let me know whatever you guys think. If you've got some conflicting thoughts on these, or if you agree with me, you can let me know that too, right? Sometimes the disagreements lead to like more conversation because you're like, oh, okay, you're changing people, not changing, but... You're getting a change of opinion, you know, because you're hearing from other people, seeing what they think. When people agree with you, it's just like, hey, I like those too. It's like, all right, cool, thanks. Then we're done. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I have one more review to do, so I'm going to knock that out real quick, and then I'll share it with you guys eventually. Later, people.